Hey, what's up? It's AJ, and today is my birthday. Ooh, it's my birthday. I got a free drink. Hey, so, mm, mm. so I'm gonna do 24 weird facts, and they're actually like weird facts. It's not just like, I like the color pink when people normally like blue. <laughs> That's boring. This is not gonna be boring. So yeah, welcome to my channel. I forgot to say, if it's your first time, don't forget to subscribe, 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 yay. And let's move on to the video. All right, number one, I'm just gonna get this out of the way. I hate cake. I know it's my birthday and everybody's like, girl, you can have your cake and eat it too. Don't want it, won't eat it, that's nasty. Ugh, it's just dry. It's like air bread. That's brown. I sleep with my head on the mattress at night. I don't like pillows. Um, I don't like my neck to be elevated. That's just weird. If I do have a pillow, it's literally like half an inch thick. And it's really only for the sake of me not being the weirdo that sleeps on the mattress. So I don't like pillows. I can do this weird tummy thing. It does like a full snake. Yeah, I would always do that as a little kid for show and tell. <laughs> I speak better Spanish than my Mexican husband. We live in California. A lot of times, especially at like Mexican restaurants, Spanish restaurants, um, the staff doesn't speak English. And so I'll have to order in Spanish for me, order in Spanish for him. No tomate, no lechuga, no cebolla because he doesn't like vegetables. I used to want to be a primate zoologist. I wanted to be like the modern, modern version of Jane Goodall and I wanted to go live in the jungle and be like researching them to make sure that the great apes didn't go into extinction. So, yeah. Which points to the next thing, I loved monkeys as a kid. Love, like monkeys are still my favorite animals. The golden tamarind is my favorite monkey. I had like a hundred monkey stuffed animals. I had like monkey pillowcases, monkey sheets. I had like jungle vibes in my room. My walls were all brown and I had like fake jungle plants everywhere. I was just all about the jungle, all about monkeys. I loved it. <laughs> I have the world's ugliest kneecaps and really weird like bow-legged knee legs knees that's what we call in the south like your bow-legged my legs like bow in like this right at the kneecaps i know every single word to every single line to every single character in the movie shrek I'm not just talking about like Shrek and Fiona and Donkey. Every Woodland character, every random character that says like a one-liner, I know them all. Every girl wanted to be America's Next Top Model. So that's not really weird. But the weird thing is when I would watch the episode, I wouldn't like sit on the couch and like click through, watch it like that. I would be standing up fully and as they were modeling on the TV, I would be mirroring them like, yes, yes, model, model, boom, boom, boom. Boom. Every episode was like me learning how to be a model. I have awkwardly large tonsils, <laughs> like really big tonsils. Um, the dentist, the doctors, everybody has said you need to go out and get your tonsils removed. But when you get your tonsils removed, it changes your voice and I need that. So no, I'm just gonna have to live with it. I had like so many stuffed animals and I would give them like names um, what my little kid mind thought would be like, would sound like another language, right? I'd be like Chatawa or something. But she said I would remember every single one, every one, like all of them. And I would call them that name every time. And they were like my little buddies. <laughs> they were my little best friends. I would never want a two-story house. I just hate, hate two-story houses. Okay, I have eaten a handful of dirt before. Whenever I was in elementary school, my dad thought it would be funny. Jerk. I love you, dad. To say, hey, I'll give you $5 if you take a big old handful of dirt and just like eat it. And I was a little kid, so I did it. And then my dad ran into the house and locked the door. So I couldn't go in, rinse out my mouth, get a drink of water. And it was like choking me. I was like, like I was crying. <sighs> One of my life goals is to voice an animated character. Oh boy, it's Mickey Mouse. Okay, if you've been to any of my shows or you've seen my Instagram videos, you've seen my YouTube videos, or there's not that many YouTube, but that's okay, um, of me playing guitar, I actually don't know how to play guitar. 
music by ear. So I know if it sounds like it's in the right key, I know if it sounds correct, I know if it sounds good. I know like basic chords, but that's it. Like I don't know the individual notes. I don't know like what my fingers are on. I just do it. Like I just know how, I don't know what, if that makes any sense. Every time, like right before I perform, I have to do lunges. And oh, and I have to do this too to my arms. I have to stretch my arms like this. I hate sweet smelling candles. They're gross. I don't know what it is, but I like candles that are like white tea leaf and fresh linen, flowery stuff, peony. I just don't like sweets. I don't like cake. I don't like that. I hate baking. Like I'm not a sweets person at all. <sighs> I'm constantly inventing things once a week. I'm like, oh, Roman, wouldn't it be cool if this existed? I actually have an invention. I'm not gonna tell you what it is because it's so good and so easy to make. You will steal it and become a millionaire. I'm just always thinking of things that need to be invented. I say the word oil, like oil, which is normal because I'm from Texas, so that's like not that weird. I mean, it's only weird because I live in California and people are like, oh, what's oil? And I'm like, you know, oil. But another thing that I've always said, the word both, I say both, like a bowl with in it. Both of you guys, both of them. I'm like, no, both of y'all, both of them, both. I love cartoons. I love anime. I love cartoons that are obviously like for my age group, but I love cartoons that are for kids. Anytime a new movie comes out, the animated movie, DreamWorks, I have to see it. Every Disney movie, I'm obsessed with Disney. Roman does too, so we're like the perfect match. We love to watch cartoons together. I sat next to Rascal Flatts, the lead singer and his brother, on the plane one time on the way to Spokane. And the brother was like, I'll give you five bucks if you ring the little call, like flight attendant call thing and bring her over here because I want to talk to her. And I was like, okay. So I rang it and she came over and they were chatting it up or whatever. So we gave me a $5 bill and then I had him sign it. And I told him that later that year in the spring for my spring show, I was actually going to be doing a solo and singing Bless the Broken Road, which is one of their songs. And so he signed it and I lost it. So I hate wearing shoes, but it doesn't stop there. Every time I get into the car without shoes on, so I go barefooted into the car and then I actually don't put my shoes on until I'm like there at my location and I'm about to get out of the car. Then I put my shoes on and I go in and do whatever. I just don't like wearing shoes. I love being barefoot. Roman thinks it's disgusting. As a kid, I was obsessed with the movie Forrest Gump. No elementary schoolers like, oh my gosh, I love the movie Forrest Gump. No. So I've seen the movie like 50 times. Please don't judge me. Please don't judge me on this. I have this tech, like this feel thing and I can't touch chalk or like use chalk. I hate chalk because when I touch it, it makes me like, oh, like when I grind my teeth. Uh, it, I just feel like the shiver down my spine when I touch chalk. It's a teeth thing. I don't know what it is, but chalk does something to me that's just weird. But yeah, I think that was 24 things. So tell me any of those things, if you are weird like that and you have that also, or um, like what's something weird about you? Give me some facts below. I'm gonna read more, mostly just to help me not feel like a freaking weirdo, but to say like, okay, we're all weird and you're really weird too, but I don't know. So leave in the comments below. I love you guys. And yeah, I'm gonna go have my birthday now.